Fala galera, Rocastro na área, estamos de volta, vamos continuar aqui o Man of Madden, game dos mesmos produtores de Until Dawn, estamos jogando a versão de PS4 aqui e vamos continuar a história de onde a gente parou aqui, beleza? Sem mais delongas, história fantasma Duke of Milan, vamos nessa. Vamos que vamos, vamos que vamos. De onde o jogo vai carregar, né? Eu parei logo depois que. O Alex e a Julie. Julia. Eu não familiarizei muito com os personagens ainda. Logo que eles voltaram do mergulho, né? Tá, acho que é isso aí mesmo. Como bem preservado foi o plano? Pretty much what you'd expect. Brad, it was insane. It was like traveling through time. Julia. No shit. Well, it was like traveling through time and accidentally ending up in a dimension where the past is underwater and like everything is covered in barnacles and sharks. Sharks? It was a gray reef. Ah. Hey, I thought it was pretty intense. Wasn't Conrad gonna get us some more beers after he helped Fliss? Maybe he decided, hey, I'll drink some, and then he got drunk. And since he was drunk, he forgot to bring it to us. And he just kept on drinking, and he drank all of it. Uh, sounds like you've had some experience with this kind of phenomenon. Yeah, I've been studying it for years. I'll go look for him. Oh, we found a bullet lodged in the plane. Huh. I left it below deck if you want to check it out. Tá, ele vai repassar aquele diálogo que a gente teve já no outro. Uh, ei. Hey there, polar bear. You good? Sorry. Uh... I was just thinking about how Acho que eu já mudei a resposta, né? Can you believe what we just got to experience? I expected it to be cool, but that was that was like life-changing cool. What an adventure. I'm glad at least something on this trip will be memorable. O que tu quer dizer? What do you mean? Nothing. Eu acho que eu mudei todos os diálogos. Tudo beleza. Hey, you seen my brother or Fliss? Uh, no, I uh, got distracted. Let's go get him. Sure. Quero ver quando a coisa vai começar a pegar, gurizada. So, Salve Milton Matheus, beleza? Bem-vindo. Uh, you know, where the magic happens. Desculpa pelo meu irmão. On behalf of my family, I'd like to apologize for my brother acting like a horny fifth grader. Ah, uh, it's okay. I can deal with children. Conrad, beers, where are they? Oh, yeah, the beers. I was just getting them now. Alguns gráficos de cutscene não são dos melhores, né, velho? All right, now that everybody's here. Let's take a look at the navigator's pad we found. Maybe we can figure out why the plane was out here. Where'd you put it? It's in your case. Okay, I'll go get it. Hey. Tá, foi aqui que eu parei. Beleza. O que é isso aqui? You all right? You seem kind of preoccupied. A câmera? I'm good. Sorry. Didn't realize I was spacing out. 1080p, prova d'água, 30 metros. Salve Marcelo, beleza? Bem-vindos aí, gurizada. Vamos pegar então. Na maleta, é isso, né? Parece que tem um bagulho ali em cima da mesinha. A bala. A bala que eles acharam no avião. Será que ela vai comentar alguma coisa? A galera tá. Ó. A galera tá conversando lá na parte externa. Ops, o cara veio atrás. Hey, almost time for barbecue. Got the pad yet? Oh, no, not yet. I got distracted. Ok, 
Got it. Let's go up. Come here, you vixen. Mm. Easy, tiger. We should get back. Right here. Então, isso foi o que ela resgatou lá embaixo no avião, né? No mergulho. You'll get no resistance there. All right, everyone. Check it out. Manchurian gold. Ouro da Manchúria. So what do you think, Captain? Coordinates? Those are coordinates, all right. Maybe the plane's destination? You think we could get there by tomorrow? It takes a couple hours if the weather stays steady. Wow. You find anything else? There was a flight plan on board that seemed to indicate it was a rescue plane. Yeah, that makes sense. After the war, they turned long-range bombers into rescue planes. And then this plane must have been shot down because it was riddled with bullet holes. I found one lodged in the fuselage. Huh. And it was full of life rafts. Must have gotten shot down before they could deliver all the rafts. There was only one missing. Reckless. All of you. Excuse me? I told you to leave everything down there alone. Ela avisou, Come né? on, we've been through this already. I'm not talking about the law. No, hey, they were respectful. No, you did whatever you wanted. Whatever you took, it was too much. Uh... É, você é humilde. You're right. We should have been more careful. That's not me, I'm sorry. Okay, maybe. I don't know you. You should have never gone down to that plane in the first place. It's bad luck. Mm. You think you can scavenge down there and it makes no difference, but every single thing you bring back has an essence. It's like a ghost you invite to the surface. Here we go. Huh. I never thought about it like that. You never think about much of anything. Well, maybe I never heard about such cool ghost stories. They're not cool ghost stories. Not like for fun. People drown in these waters and you have to respect their resting place. Damn straight. Fred, you got a fun ghost story, right? Yeah, I heard a story. Esse cara me lembra a Hannah do Hatchdown, incrivelmente. Por causa do óculos também. Uh, vamos lá, vamos ouvir a tal de história. Let's hear it. I bet you can spin a good yarn. It's kind of messed up, actually. Scare away, little bro. Okay. Here goes. This story is true. It had happened right near here, in an old lighthouse. Classic setup. Wait. True story? Where'd you hear this? If you need to know, it's ripped right from the rotting pages of the terrifying ancient in-flight magazine I was perusing on our way here. The lighthouse stood atop an atoll, isolated from the rest of the world, a lone beacon in the night, a sailor's respite. The lighthouse keeper would hear the waves pounding the rocky shore. One misty morning, he comes upon a woman, covered in blood. She's stumbling down the beach. He hurries to her aid, and she falls into his arms, sobbing. As he hurries her back to the lighthouse, he asks where she's from. He doesn't waste any time. Smooth. Fica frio, deixa o cara contar. The woman answers. I live here, in the lighthouse. My parents are upstairs right now. Twist. Of course, the lighthouse keeper says, that isn't so. Of course, he's lived there alone for years. And the woman becomes hysterical, and his sister parents are upstairs. So, they go to the top of the lighthouse, and there, Splay down on the floor is a man and a woman brutally murdered with an axe. Always an axe. I mean, do people even use axes anymore? I'm just reporting the facts, cliches and all. Chopped up into little tiny giblets with an axe. Você pode melhorar a verdade. You know, sometimes you have to embellish the facts a little to get at the deeper truth. It's okay. Okay, so who did it? The woman says, it was my husband. And she turns to the closet. Says, he's in there. Ah, yes, the husband. And that's why I've always been a little weary of marriage. Whoops. So the lighthouse keeper creeps over to the closet, opens the door, and sure enough, there's a man inside. But he's cut his own throat. Horrified, he looks closer to see the dead man's face in the dark. Closer. Closer. And he sees, it's his own face, and then its eyes bulge out and screams. Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! Yeah, so gross. Ah, hey, super twist. Nice. <laughs> nice one, Squire. 
Foi boa, foi boa. You have me going. Pretty cool. I think you told it better last time. A good effort. Okay. You've all had your fun. We should all turn in. There's some weather heading our way. Uh-uh. No, no, no. No, because according to standard vessel regulation, we're all required. One more beer before hitting the hay. What regulations are these? Uh, it's standard issue regulatory institutional protocol subdivision 1099. Uh-huh. <laughs> Where'd you read that? The internet. Oh, so you found a website that tells you to drink beer under every circumstance. I'm just following orders, man. <laughs> I'm into this website. <laughs> and four good buddies. And I'm out. Então tá, uma noitezinha de histórias horripilantes. Até então nada de problema. Todo mundo dormindo. Salve Douglas Barros, beleza? Uou! Conrad. 23 e 22. Pô, a galera dormiu cedo, hein? Bom, os caras. Ent... Alguém entrou no barco ali, cruzado. Caramba! Quick time event. Toma. Acho que são os caras que, que vieram aqui mais cedo, né? Ó, já renderam todo mundo. Aqueles caras que vieram rondar eles ali. Eu dei uma garrafada no cara com o Conrad. Loucura. Falta um dois, né? Tá, aí a capitã. É, o mesmo cara que veio antes, ó. Que o Conrad jogou dinheiro na água, vocês lembram? Foi muito otário. Óbvio que o cara ia voltar, né? Não demorou muito, esperou anoitecer e pimba. Desamor da Sarah, capitã. Vamos dar só o cara também, né? Se eles podem conversar. Ah, tem mais uma ali. Foi que eu dei a garrafada, pelo jeito, tá sangrando. Lembrando que qualquer erro a gente pode matar alguém, né? É como no Until Dawn. Escolhas definem o rumo da história e o destino dos personagens. Eu tô concentrado aqui, velho, que não quero perder os detalhes. Vamos desamarrar essa galera, hein? Fuck out. Oh. 
I'll be back for you later. Fala, Nicolas. Nobody knows you're out here, little lady. You're all alone with us now. Let's make the most of it. You can go fuck yourself, you piece of shit. You're the little lady. Ai, carol, cara. E o cara é muito brabo, cara. Toma. Você merece apanhar. Japa ali. Para aí, mano. Cara, eu não sei quanto custa o jogo, tem que olhar. Eu comprei na pré-venda, acho que deve ser diferente o valor. Sai de mim, ok. Ah, deixa, deixa assim. Ok. Ok. Falta o irmão do, do cara ali, né? Oh, Jesus, Conrad. Cara, eles vão, pegam o cara, dão umas porradas, volta. Esses bandidos estão meio perdidos, né? Realmente, eu falei agora, né? Mas como é que vai pegar de surpresa se ele acabou de ir bater na porta ali e o cara viu? Que idiota. O cara sabe contar a distância da tempestade. Uou. Eu consigo chegar até o barco? Se você puder distrair eu posso chegar nessa barca. O cara com a arma não vai se lembrar até que eu estou longe. 7 segundos. Eu posso chegar por causa da janela. Temos que quebrar isso primeiro. Eu vou ouvir isso. Nós vamos quebrar eles durante o thunder. 
Good call. I'll go through the window and get the boat. You guys distract them. Conrad, just stay focused and get to the boat. Okay, let's do it. Vai dar merda. Fiz cagada, eu acho. O giro pegar a faca. O propósito era fugir, né? Acho que eu fiz merda. Meu Deus, cara. Como que ninguém viu isso? A bala pegou. Ai. Será que eu podia ter matado o cara aquela hora entre pegar a faca e fugir ali? O combinado era que ele fugisse, né? Espero não ter feito cagado. Over there. You, right here. Sit. Now. Arrêtez, bande de cons! C'est mon bateau! Stop! Ferme-la! Ou je te mets mon poing dans la gueule! Olha. Galera é poliglota, falando inglês, francês. Ah, acharam o negócio do avião. Which one of you is gonna tell me about this Manchurian go? Oh, 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 oh. E a tempestade pegando. Feliz dia 2, meia-noite 12, 21 de junho. Pra que isso, mano? She's a captain and they barely laid a hand on her? I bet you told them about the Manchurian gold. They're in cahoots. Tá de sacanagem, né? Tá louco, mano? Are you out of your mind? How did you come up with this bullshit? How fucking dare you, you overprivileged asshole? You're all in this together. This is a trap and you set us up. Ah, asshole. Put a cork in it. Ô oh, droga. Pois é, ao contrário do Until Dawn, esse aqui não é dublado, somente legendado. Esse cara me lembra alguém, velho. Inclusive a voz dele de algum jogo, não lembro agora. Maybe consequences. Duke of Milan 
requesting weather update. Over. We read you. Everything okay? Over. Hey, uh, just requesting any information about this storm you can give us. It's a little bit hairy out here. Over. Yeah, no vou. Big storm coming in from the east. Gotta hit you pretty hard. It should pass through your coordinates within an hour. You sound a little stressed, dude. Please let me know if you need assistance. Not used to a little weather freaking you out. E agora? Uh, não, vou tranquilizar. <risos> yeah. uh, ok. É ok out here. We can handle a couple of puffs and drops of rain. Uh, thanks for the info. We'll see you for drinks back on shore in a couple of days. Melhor não afrontar os caras. A gente está em desvantagem aqui. Olha aí, cara. Eu tô errando os bagulho. O cara me salvou agora, né? Os caras podiam traduzir, pelo menos francês, né? Poderia ajudar. Ok, keep a lid on it. It could be our ticket out. Brad stays hidden. Better off down there than with these psychos. Oh yeah, great. He could get killed down there. Brad's a big bull. He'll be ok. And it's probably better for us if he stays put for now. <coughs> a tempestade tá foda. Esse é o navio do, dos caras lá de 47. Acho que sim, hein? Agora vai começar a ficar bom. Ó, oh, todo mundo ainda tá vivo, então eu já poderia ter matado alguém. Appear to have saved somebody. A bold move that paid off. Oh. This time. But does this make the rest of your group more vulnerable? I dare say we'll find out. Hmm? Kind hearted creature I am, I'd like to offer you some forewarning of what's to come. Tempted? Uh, sim. Ok, então. Anyway, now that you've reached a point of significant distress, I presume you're eager to get back to your story. But here's a thing. Everything may not be entirely as it seems. Vai tomar um negocinho? Recurso especial desbloqueado. 
probably shouldn't have said that. 